flowers, and the chorus says, uh, they can crush the flowers, but they can't stop the spring. And that was from a poem by a Chilean poet, Pablo Neruda. He wrote that in the late 60s, early 70s, before he died. And, um, yeah, I thought it was a really meaningful verse uh, to apply in such a situation. And uh, my friend Emily up in London, they, they cover the song in Arabic, uh, their band Ras. And uh, she was, they were playing it recently and they were introducing it and she said, better than I could have said, she said that though the situation has changed in so many ways in so many of the countries uh, in the Arab world and in North Africa, uh, that she still thought that this song captured a moment. And, and that moment is still alive. Um, and it's important to, to hold on to it and remember the, that, that hope, that level of hope, that insane level of hope and resistance uh, that, 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 came from, that came from Tunisia and from Egypt and from Bahrain and from Syria and from Yemen and just spread all over the world, you know? And in the West, for us, like a really interesting moment during the Egyptian revolution, this friend of mine, an Iraq veteran, uh, called me and he wanted to know my thoughts about what was going on in Egypt and in, and in Tunisia. And he was like, I feel like this is the end of the 9-11 era. And I was like, holy shit, that's deep. Because here we are 10 years after 9-11 and here's, here's the area of the world that the U.S. had to go and teach democracy to with bombs. And here they are being like, no, let's show you what democracy is. Let's show you what regime change looks like. Because that was their other big term, regime change. We need to go, Saddam needs to go, we need to teach them regime change. And then here's the Arab world being like, no, fuck off, we'll show you how we, how we take care of this shit. Um, and then in fact it was the U.S. backing most of these dictatorships in Bahrain, in Tunisia, in Egypt, you know. And so uh, I wrote this song to pay respect to the people who died, to the martyrs of the Egyptian revolution. Uh, and, and the Tunisian Revolution and the uprising in Syria and all of these things. Um, and not all of them, like, went to the streets to die, you know? They weren't all like, I'm gonna go die tonight. But all of them knew that it was a possibility. And they, and they took that risk. Uh, and they took that risk for a reason, you know? Because they wanted something and they could see it. They could see the thing. Um, so this is called Flowers. We raised up your flag with the Egyptian tide And took to the streets for your future and your pride And the cops and the soldiers, well some took your side But the rats just pointed and fired Oh sister, we are listening to your songs of the streets, we are listening To the bullets and the bombs, we can still hear you sing well, They can crush the flowers, but they can't stop the spring You walk down a path so many walked before An unexpected martyr in an unwanted war But it was a moment of pushing a global open door And the people of the world moved forward Oh brother, we are listening to your songs of the streets, we are listening To the bullets and the bombs, we can still hear you sing well, They can crush the flowers, but they can't stop the spring Raised 
up your flag for the world to see As you stood face to face with the military But you're suffering in pain Well it hasn't been in vain Cause there's a lot more flowers bloom Comrade, we are listening To your songs of the streets We are listening To the bullets and the bombs We can still hear you sing They can crush the flowers But they can't stop the spring They can crush the flowers But they can't stop the spring